Hey everyone, Mark the Movie Man here. Welcome to the Final Cut. So glad you could join us today. We've been gone for a little while. We're back and uh, we've got some reviews for you appropriate for Halloween season. And today we are looking at one of the nursery rhyme horror films to recently come out this month. And we're looking at Mary Had a Little Lamb from Jason Arbor, who directs the story about Carla, who runs a podcast slash radio show that is about cold cases. And uh, yeah, this viewership, listenership has been going quite down and she's in fear of being canceled unless she comes up with a great story. Well, she soon discovers a modern story where people go missing near a wooded area in a secluded part of the country. Well, she takes her crew out there to investigate and soon discover a house in the middle of nowhere where a woman, an elderly woman named Mary and her little lamb live. <laughs> well, soon this crew is finding themselves on the run from a mutant killer who uh, has a love for his mother and his mother has a love for him and a love for a specific type of meat. And we see how all of this comes together in this wild, interesting film based on a kid's nursery rhyme called Mary Had a Little Lamb, a horror film. Yeah, I, you know, it's it's crazy, but uh, for a gimmick film, I think this this movie's not bad. I mean, it's not great. It's not really breaking new ground. Kind of has a Texas Chainsaw Massacre vibe, but I really dug the very good looking practical gore effects they had in here. And even uh, Mary's a little lamb, her son. The makeup effects looked better than they did in Pooh, Blood and Honey, which is, I know, not a huge bar, but still, uh, I, I liked the look of the killer more uh, than I did in uh, the Pooh, Blood, and Honey. Speaking of that film, we have Mae Kelly here, who can't seem to get away from the creepy creatures in her career. She plays Carla, and I really enjoyed her performance quite a bit. You feel for this woman who is on the verge of losing her job and her desperation. And we watch how she turns from desperate to obsessed with the story of Mary. And I loved watching that kind of transformation. And I think Mae Kelly really puts in a solid performance here. Who really stood out for me, though, is Christine Ann Nyland, who does play Mary. She really brings the crazy, and she's exactly what you need to help sell this concept of this killer, especially once you see the design of the killer and what they've done with it. Uh, yeah, I really loved it. She's got this uh, just wild, wonderful kind of underlying crazy to her and she gets some great scenes with Carla. Uh, May and Christine really play off each other well in some of their most solid moments in this film. Uh, the rest of the cast do well though most of them are kind of stereotypical. I, you know again this isn't like a super mind-blowing film but for what the title is I was impressed. Now uh, there are still a few shortcomings in the film namely in the editing and the portrayal of time. Uh, there was a certain section where it looked like it was morning, but evening, yet morning. So wasn't quite sure what was going on there. And some of the editing and that near the end where they make references to something that was something they made up, but then they refer to it as if it was real. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a little bit of jumbling going on in there, but it definitely wears its Texas Chainsaw Massacre influence on its sleeve, especially with the ending, which is rather abrupt and was one of the other minor disappointments to it. But overall, if you're looking for something for your 31 Days of Horror, this is a breezy watch, which is a lot of fun, got a bit of a bizarre concept, and uh, well acted. So uh, there you have it, folks. Mary Had a Little Lamb, a bit of a gory spin on a child classic. Uh, so if you have seen Mary Had a Little Lamb. Love to hear your thoughts on this ambitious project. Please check out our Patreon if you haven't already. Got a lot of great stuff there. And don't forget to subscribe here. We looks like we might actually get over 2,500 subscribers by the end of the year. And we can only do that with your help. Thank you for watching. And until next time, remember to keep that ticket stub.